it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. We have such a fun session for today. Uh, we're basically going to be experimenting, so it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, before we get started, though, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate it. And then I'm going straight into the into the project. Okay, I want to show you what you're seeing on the screen right now. I just finished cutting, so I will say in advance that today is going to be a crazier hot mess than it usually is because everything's just right off the cutting mat. You can kind of see behind me. It's all crazy because I've got like stands everywhere, all the materials. So we're doing Teenage Bell 33 inches and we're doing a lot of fun things with her. So one of the things I want to show you right now is this shoe. So you know I'm going to be at Long Beach uh, Convention Center for the Impressions Expo and uh, we will be showcasing Bell at the Polytape booth. So I'm super excited. We've got Bell in three different stages and um, I'll, ooh, I'll show you right now uh, and I'm trying to incorporate you know HTV where I can to make it look really really cool so if you remember we just did this one and she right now is all HTV except for the skin and the black background but her hair eyes lips uh, jewels all that is HTV so continuing on this HTV journey um I you know because I'm I'm collaborating with uh, David, who is who does custom shoes using his Cricut and other um, other materials and um, applications. But he's got a super cool bell shoe to go with this expo. So um, I wanted to do teenage bell she's wearing kind of like you know uh she's a teenager so she's a little bit more hip <laughs> she's got these nike airs on and so i wanted the nikes to to look a little bit more like real shoes as opposed to just cardstock so i wanted to use the white vinyl on this shoe oops let me bring it back the white vinyl on this shoe to give it kind of like that more leather look than paper look so if you remember on Belle, we did the same thing here, right? So what I did was I overcut on each piece so that the HTV would be like a single sheet like this and then I could just um, apply heat and then the HTV would go onto my paper and then I have a piece of paper on the back but on the front it's HTV material. And the reason why I even you know went down this path is that um, a lot of times I feel like we're limited with certain colors like um, with brown for instance i feel like there's either brown <laughs> like kind of dull right just boring brown or you can get the brown glitter cardstock which is beautiful but then that's it so like if i want to do her hair and her eyes she's got everything glitter and i don't necessarily always want to do that so in comes htv because htv will give you a different texture and also a different um just a different color to it. So we just have more options. So anyway, I wanna do that. So looking at this shoe, I did a different process than I did for the last bell. And if you remember, I cut out each piece and applied HTV to each piece. So if you look at this shoe, look at how many pieces there are. I thought, oh my gosh, there's no way I wanna do that. So, you know, thinking about it, I said, why don't I take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and 12 by 12 HTV and apply the heat to the HTV and the paper before I cut so that technically this new bonded material, HTV on top, paper on the bottom, and then send it to my Cricut to cut. And that's what we did. So I've got that. I'm going to show you that. I also want to show you this little guy. So. David and I and Polytape, we are next month for February 2022. Um, super excited to get together. We're fundraising for Together We Rise. It's an, um, an organization that advocates for foster kids. So it is, I've aligned myself with them. I'm gonna be doing lots of charity work throughout this year and it's always gonna benefit them. I'm super excited about it. They do amazing things and I can't wait to share that with you their mascot is this teddy bear so i have bell holding the teddy bear and um and this file by the way was all thought up 
by the Salty Yankee. So Kayla is amazing. I absolutely love this file. If you want to do this one, it's on her website. It's also linked here on my in my description. So the Salty Yankee is just, I mean, I think you've recognized her name by now. I've done multiple um, videos using her files because they're so awesome to work with. Um, anyway, what I wanted to do is, because it's a teddy bear, I wanted to use poly tapes. Um, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like flock. So it's like a little bit like velvety, suede -ish, you know, suede -ish, suede ish. Um, so it's got like that extra texture, like the fluffy velour kind of feel. So I wanted to do the blue in the blue tur um, the, the blue in the flock and the outline in black. Now, because it is a little bit thicker, that's why in the design space tutorial, we sliced it out so that the black, oops, sorry, that the black is like an outline so that we can insert the blue inside that the empty space so that it's not layered on top. It's actually sitting in between. They're all of the same height um, because I felt like with the extra thickness, it would be really weird to have the blue sitting on top of the black. So now the blue and the black are gonna sit right next to each other and fit perfectly. So anyway, I mean, that's kind of like all the exciting stuff. Um, what else is different about this one is the yellow shirt that Belle is wearing was modeled after a yellow shirt that I'm gonna wear. <laughs> it has a, like you tie it in the back of the neck. I wanna add ribbon to it. I'm trying to make this just kind of like, what can I do to make this paper character be a little bit more than just paper. So I know that was a lot of blah, blah, blah. So uh, I'm gonna break this session bell up into three sessions. The first session is gonna be design space. This session is going to be all the extra fun stuff. And then the third one is going to be whatever is left. Cause I think there's a lot going on um, in this whole tutorial. So I hope you stick around. I hope you uh, share my excitement for experimenting and kind of just you know like pushing the limits a little bit when it comes to paper because paper is just paper right so it's fun um and then also just the whole thing about together we rise and everyone coming together to work for this foundation i think it's amazing that i have the salty yankee creating svg files just you know just because she wants to support us. Uh, David making a custom shoe for this fundraiser that someone can win. I'm so excited to show you what he's done for this expo. And then you guys could possibly win a custom shoe, whatever you want he's gonna make. Um, and Polly Tape coming in, offering the HTV, and they're also gonna give up a Cricut. So, um, and then me, you win uh, an off the mat character. We'll, we'll have to talk about it. Mine is like the least interesting out of all this group. So anyway, uh, let's get started. So I want to work first with the flock material because I'm super excited. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna change my screen up. I can't control what shows when I first flip over. So it's gonna be messy. Just know, remember, I, I already warned you that like I've been working all morning, all day. So here it comes. I'm gonna flip over the screen and okay. Oh, so it's not too crazy right now. Let's, oh good. I was worried you were gonna get like my whole room, which is a hot mess. Okay. So I think you can see my, okay, and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see a little bit more. Perfect, perfect. Oops, wrong one. Oh, you got a glimpse. <laughs> okay, let's see, it's this one, a little bit more. Okay, so you can see enough on this screen. Let me move these out. We're gonna work on the flock first. I've got my HTV going, my heat press going on the floor. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna pull over the material so you can see. Okay, so I am really, really, really experimenting with this. So uh, this doesn't even make sense to me right now. So <laughs> let me pull up my design space so I know what I'm doing. So 
normally whenever I do an off the mat, if anything is black, the black is coming from the from the bottommost layer. It's the black background, right? But in this case, I did an offset for the teddy bear because I wanted the teddy bear to kind of like pop up a little bit. So the black is not going to be part of the black background. It's its own separate piece. And I also did this because I knew I was going to be using HTV and I needed it to be its own piece just to make it easier on me to assemble it. So let's look at all of that. So I have the flock here. I, you know, it's the first time that I'm using flock. So I cut this one a little bit deeper than I wanted to. So I taped it up because <laughs> it's kind of thin. So I'm going to peel it now. This one, I do want it in pieces because it's going to slide in in the empty space, remember? So let's kind of, so I haven't done anything really. I just took it off the mat. Everything I cut today. So I'm just so excited about this piece. It's going to be so fun. Um, all right, let me move that aside. Let me get to here first. Okay. So to give you kind of an update on what we're doing here, this is the bear. Um, Teenage Bell is holding the bear right here. So it's not a full bear, it's the legs and then the head, the ears, and a little bit of the arm. So try to imagine that. And then once this comes in, it'll be a lot easier. So I am going to, I'm gonna weed this right now so that we can kind of get a better idea of what this looks like. And so I put the heat resistant tape on the back to keep this piece together so that, oh yeah, okay. I'm like, what's going on here? Um, this cut a little bit too deep. I did not want to cut through the carrier sheet. I did want to do that on the blue, but not on the black, but, um, you know what I never do test cuts and I know that's my own problem but like I hate doing test cuts because it just feels like so much work <laughs> even I'd rather ruin and suffer through than the possibility of extra work I know it's ridiculous um okay can we talk about the expo while I'm weeding um so Saturday January 22nd 2022 I'm going to go live at 11 o'clock Pacific time and we're giving away a bunch of stuff. The, on, the only way you can win is you have to be on the live. So this is Instagram live. Um, get on there because it's a good chance that you're going to win. You have to be on the live. Not a lot of people are going to be there. So it's a really, really good opportunity. And you get to see if you've never been to some sort of like crafting convention. I will be there. Um, I'll be doing quite a few lives actually this coming week just as um, as someone enjoying the show and then on Saturday as someone who's like working the show. <laughs> I'm going to be in the poly tape booth. Um, so I'm so excited. I, you know, um, you know, I love their material. I, you just can't beat the, you know, just pressing for like three to five seconds. Their material is so easy to work with. Um, so yeah, you'll see. Just give it a try. Um, their materials you can buy uh, from Vinyl Outlet. So that is, um, it'll be linked. Um, they don't have a direct, a direct source of, to buy. So you gotta go through Vinyl Outlet. Okay, sorry, I'm peeling this off. And you know what? Surprisingly, so my, you know, my hand, my wrist, all of that is getting better, but weeding actually like aggravates my arm and I realize how weak I am like it's hard to pull this off like there's something about you know using these two um, fingers where I'm not really strong right now so sorry weeding is taking a little bit longer and you can see this is easy to weed I'm actually just weeding with my fingers um, and my nails like I don't even need anything to pull it up um, although maybe I should and that would help <laughs> But I don't think so. It's really just me right now. This is all like user error right now, how uh, weak my hand is. This is not 
a knock on poly tapes <laughs> vinyl at all okay and again when i say vinyl this is htv so i do have my heat press going next to me which i will show you in a second as soon as i can read this thing my goodness okay all right almost almost but you can kind of see like you can kind of see the bear now it's gonna be so cute Okay. Um, I can talk a little bit about Together We Rise while I am still reading this. So I know I've said this many times, but um, I'm super excited to be working with them. I'm actually touring their headquarters this coming week. Um, I think that together we can um, really come together and make some really fun things for the kids so they have these things called sweet cases um which is an alternative to the trash bags that these kids get when they need to move so they're given um one or two trash bags and everything that they want to take with them needs to fit in there and that's how they get to their next destination so instead um, you know, we'll be raising money so that we can provide more sweet cases. So they're suitcases, but they, um, they're packed with a couple of like essentials. Um, they, uh, I am in the process of getting some sweet cases because I think that we can do a lot of fun decorating to these, uh, sweet cases before before they get them just to personalize it and make it you know all the better for them and uh so funny how the black like cut through but the blue didn't cut through like i wanted to <laughs> okay um so that's one thing that they do another thing that they do that i think we would fit in perfectly so this right here sorry i'm gonna interrupt myself see how it goes in in between so that nothing is sitting is layered and sitting on top so when we go to press this we're going to press it like this and it's all going to come down and be amazing let me make sure yep okay so that goes in okay and then this top part is the bear okay um the other thing that they do which i think is just so awesome is they have these uh birthday boxes so, you know, these kids don't get to celebrate birthdays um, or they've missed some birthdays. So um, I would love it if we could get together and have a lot of birthday decor, supplies, uh, fun stuff. So that's that's on my list of things to do this year. I would love to organize something like that. I would love to be able to go to headquarters and, um, you know, spend a day there and make as many things as I can and bring my heat press and personalize the heck out of everything. <laughs> um, let me see. The other thing that I've talked about a few times is the fact that these kids, some of them, they've never been shopping, so they don't even know their size for a t-shirt. So, um, Together we rise, they're gonna have like a store like in their headquarters for uh, the kids that graduate the program. So when they leave, that they have, you know, a little bit of a wardrobe and something brand new that they get to pick out. Again, it would be something that I would love to um, be a part of and I don't know, maybe make something. I mean, we do sweatshirts and t-shirts all the time, right? So I would love for them to be able to have something fun and you know not and not worry about the cost and it's just fun and it's theirs so I'm super excited to have found this organization and not just you know finding them because I mean there's many organizations out there that are super cool but uh, Together We Rise is also excited to like team up with with me so it's, you know, it's one thing that I'm excited about them, but they're also excited too because a lot of their, a lot of the people that they work with, um, you know, they're giving them money, right? But 
we're coming in with like a creative audience, like a crafting audience that can come together and do all the stuff that their donors can't do. Their donors provide the money, which is obviously so needed, but we get to provide a little bit of fun that they don't have right now. So I'm, you know, I'm so excited that they're excited because um, then it just means that we can, you know, come together and do really cool things. So I'm, like I said, I'm super excited about it. Okay, ah, this piece is like, it's a little bit thicker. So I'm, and for whatever reason, it didn't cut through as well as I thought it did. The black was like, I had to tape that thing together, but this one, not so much. Okay, almost there. And I don't wanna get this far and like rip something, so. And, oh my gosh, sorry, I'm just like babbling away because we can. <laughs> um, we had a million views on YouTube today, this morning. So thank you very, very, very much for watching and uh, supporting me and my dream of just being a creative person and, you know, making a career out of it. So thank you very, very, very much. Okay, why am I struggling so much? Okay. You know what? I don't even know why I'm making this so difficult for myself. I could just weed it out. I swear sometimes. <laughs> why am I not thinking straight? Right, am I reading the right parts? Yeah. making it so difficult for myself. All right, that was a lot easier. So this goes like this. Then I have just this ear. And then I'm gonna look up the heating instructions. Of course, it's like at the end, don't rip. Okay, yay. Um, all right, so this piece goes in like this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the black first. So let's put this down. And I'm gonna cut this just to make it easier on us. And I think I'm gonna use a little bit of tape so that our piece doesn't move at all, okay? So we're experimenting. I think it'll be <laughs> a good idea to tape this down just a little bit Let's try this. Okay, so cute. All right, I'm gonna move this aside. Let's look up. Give me one second. I'm pulling out all the stuff. I wanna make sure that we have the right temperature for this and I knew I had it somewhere. <laughs> okay, so look at all this goodie, good stuff. Okay, so they're, they're flock vinyls. Where is your flock stuff? Um, poly. It says there's flock on here, but I don't see it. Hold on, let me find it. Here we go. So this needs to be at 320 for 15 seconds. So I'm gonna increase, I'm right here. <laughs> I'm gonna increase my temperature and 
increase my time and wait for it to heat up. So I'm going to press it really quickly. Let's do the bottom. We'll press both of these at the same time. Let's line this up. And then we'll put the blue on afterwards. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. Okay, it's almost there. And this is, let's see what kind of peel this is. This is gonna be a warm peel, so okay. You guys ready? Let's see if we can get this. I'm gonna lift it off early because we still have another layer to go. So let's see if this didn't stick yet. Maybe this did. Mm. No, it didn't. It didn't stick. Hmm. Well, it didn't stick at all, so I'm gonna have to press it again. But it's okay that it didn't stick because somehow my piece moved. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it back on. You know, we're just experimenting, so who knows? Okay. So maybe I'll do this one first. Let's do that one over. So it has a velvet touch. It's gonna to be so cute. All right. I'm lifting it up. Okay. And why is it not sticking? I need you to work. Trying to find a spot so that we can see. Well, this is good experimenting, right? So now you guys know. So normally, so far I've done the HTV and it's been fine. All right, I'm gonna try to pull this off and see if it will be better once we, um, but everything needs to come off more easily. Let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Can you see? Like, that's black cardstock. That's the velour. I mean, it really. Gosh, it really changes. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. 
So you can see how that looks. Okay, let's do the blue on here. So I'm almost tempted because this is such a big piece. Okay, I see. I was really tempted to just pull it off, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna lay it down like this and we need our mat because the black is exposed, right? So I'm gonna put that down. Oh my gosh, you can't get that with just cardstock. Oh my goodness. And it does, it has like a super velvety feel to it. It looks so good. That was um, worth the effort. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's coming up. And then I'm gonna do one more press on the whole, th oh my gosh. Can you see that blue? I mean, that blue is so pretty. You can't, you definitely can't. So I don't know why it's not coming up as easily. I feel like we added enough heat. Okay, I'm gonna cut this part off. I'm gonna press it a little bit longer. And I press it on this side. So stinking pretty. I'm so excited about this piece. And I feel like later when I go to record everything, like a little reel of it, uh, that you'll be able to see the texture. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to, um, cause I'm pulling on it. So. I don't know if it's just because it's on paper, it's not adhering as well as I would like. So I'm gonna apply heat one more time, but oh my gosh, it's so vibrant on there and it's got this beautiful velvety feel to it. I love it. Okay, let's do it one more time. I wish I could I mean, it really does feel like velour. Like my sofa. <laughs> oh, there. Go down. Okay. It's so lovely. <laughs> All right, so that's one piece. Whew, we've got a lot to go here. Um, I'm almost wondering. I'm gonna try to take off this excess just so that it's a little bit easier for me to work with.
wondering if I should try to insert the blue right now, but some of this just didn't cut that well, so I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Let me think about it. Um, this part didn't come off at all. And this part actually went down. It's there. Okay. All right. I'm going to just cut this off. Do the black, do the blue like we did originally. And hope for the best. Here we go. I'm gonna press it. Um, this part is exposed a little bit. I don't want my paper to burn, so I'm gonna put this back over it. Okay, so here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so stink. I mean, look at this piece. It's so pretty. <laughs> I can't get over it. All right, let's see. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see if we can peel off any. that makes it easier to peel up. I mean, that black velvet is gorgeous against this black cardstock. I mean, I just, I can't believe how beautiful black is. <laughs> and this is, this is the normal cardstock that we would be using for a black background, so I absolutely love it. Let's see. This one, for some reason, feels like it pressed a little bit easier for some reason. I'm not sure. Oh, I spoke too soon. I thought I had it. Okay, let's go over here. Oh no, it doesn't matter. I ripped the black a little bit, the paper. But the blue's gonna go on top, so it doesn't matter. So I'm okay for now. Let's see if I can navigate this little corner. get rid of some of this just to make it easier on myself. This is definitely a test of patience. 
<laughs> which I don't always have. So let's see if I can get through this so that we can get the blue down and just be done with this flock. So um, I'm also, I plan on doing a mandala using flock. So it's gonna be black on black. So I'm super excited to do the beast. Um, was that a piece that I needed? No, I hope not. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited to be doing that as well. So, so many fun projects, I'm telling you. So many fun projects coming up. All right, let's get through this. We're almost there. Oopsies, hold on. There's like a whole piece right here that, oh, here we go. What am I looking at over here? Okay, there we go. Oops, it's stuck onto something. to the tape and maybe a little bit oh okay let me see if I can go around it what else do I have oh I have this piece over here And because it's cardstock, I don't want to add more heat because I know I have to add the blue. Otherwise, I think if we just added heat to this, it would be a lot easier. Okay, so I have a little bit of a problem right here. So let me get all this stuff out of the way. I think I applied HTV onto, oh geez. Okay, I need that to come back down. I'm gonna cut around this just so I can see what's going on before I like pull it some more. Okay, here we go. Okay, so, oh my gosh, so stinking cute, right? Okay, let me pull this off gently. <laughs> and let's see what happened here. Okay. I'm gonna get a sharp pair of scissors, so give me a second. I'm gonna cut around this. I might have to trim that off a little bit. Let's see what I can do. I think that's going to be okay because the blue is going to sit on top of it. All right, we'll see. Let's peel this little guy off. And then we can do the next part. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. Okay, so let's put these little pieces in.
think everything is sitting perfectly. Okay, I'm going to put this over. So I don't know if you can tell from here. I mean, just look at the black is so vibrant. I mean, it makes the black cardstock look so dull. I'll compare it to more black cardstock in a second. So let's see if we can pull this off. Oh, sorry. That's like my whole face and head in there. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find an area to start this. see a little bit of that coming through pull off the rest here Looking good. Just got to get the rest of this up. So let's see. Um, I don't know where to start. I want to get this little guy off as well. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to continue this. Let's see. Oh, no, we're still good. Okay. I want to show you the whole thing. So I'm going to press this one more time. As soon as I get all of this up, just like the black, we're going to press one more time to make sure it's stuck to the cardstock. to rip. Okay, here we go. Alright. Oh my gosh. So cute. And I'm going to say worth the effort because it's not like we're going to do this all the time. <laughs> um, and it's a good experiment. So this flock is definitely, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to work with than I thought it would be. All right, let me see if I can peel off this part. Okay, 
so we've just got this little section right here. Let me see if I can... I'm not making much progress right now. <laughs> it's like I keep pulling, it's not going anywhere. Okay, let me see if I can get, maybe if I can get through right here. I think that will help a little bit. I think we're getting there. You'll have to let me know if it was like too stressful, you're not gonna do this. <laughs> um, it's a good experiment though. It's good to know that we can make, I mean, this is gonna look amazing when it's done. When I pulled everything up and when it goes down, it's going to look so good just a process <laughs> but I'm gonna say right now even though I haven't seen the full thing I think this is gonna make that teenage bell more than just a paper off the map project but we shall see give me a second <laughs> a few minutes a few more minutes all right, here we go. We're almost there. Look at, and it didn't ruin at all. Okay, I'm gonna press it one more time. All right, let's go. I mean, this still just looks so good. So good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, let's see. It definitely doesn't look like paper at all. It's so pretty. Okay, so we've got the hard part down. Well, one of the hard steps. So this is one of them. The other one is gonna be our shoe. So let me go find our shoe. I left it on the mat so that we can experiment. So if you can see, this is the outline of the paper. This is the HTV. 
So even though they're both white, you can see this is like a really, really white, right? Kind of like that whole black thing. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it cut completely through. So this is HTV on the front, paper on the back. We, I ironed it on before I put it on the cutting mat. so that I could get the texture and that look and feel of leather um, by doing this. And the reason why I ironed it on before is because you'll see in a second, this shoe is in quite a few pieces and it would have been difficult to do the way I did the bear, right? Could you imagine that, how difficult the bear was and if I had to do it for each one of these pieces? So that's why I did it beforehand. Now I just need to get the pieces off the cutting mat and then piece it all together on my on my black cardstock and glue it. Oh, what happened here? Okay. Um, oh no, wait a minute, what happened? This is supposed to oh right here. sticking to the mat a little bit. So I'm gonna pull some of this off and then we can get the rest off the mat. Put this out. Okay, so here's our shoe. You see the shoe looks pretty good, huh? Okay, there's something going on right there that that didn't cut right there but this is the HTV and paper on the back okay put that to the side let's get this piece off and I think this is the last part of this video because it's been yeah it's been a while <laughs> let me get a board so we can put all our pieces on there And so that we can kind of keep it in the same area as well, then it'll be easier to put together later. Okay, I don't know what happened there. All right, so I'm gonna do this shoe first. So I'm just gonna pop. I need my little spatula. So, oh, here it is. Okay, um, there are some little holes that need to be popped out, so not a big deal. And it didn't. I'm gonna trim that off later. It didn't cut um, like super cleanly right there, so I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut through that. I think that would be the easiest, but I'm gonna show you so far what the, what the mat looks like with this shoe. So 
So I'm peeling it off this, putting it right on here, kind of keeping it in place so that when we go to put it down later, it's a lot easier to find. All right, so let's do this little guy right here. So this little guy I'm gonna need, oh, there, I can rip that off. Did I get that? <laughs> okay. Um, these two little pieces down here. just got this piece of okay I'll need that piece. now obviously my mat is sticky I needed it to be sticky because it had two layers right so now I'm kind of dealing with the ramifications of having a sticky mat and also I left it on a little bit because we were doing the HTV and I just cut it. So things like this, I would think, you know, take it off your mat as soon as you can, but I didn't want to take it off without you guys. So that's what's going on. I think it's a combination. Okay. So this is the one side shoe, right? And then I'll, we'll take off the other one. And then I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> I think I need it. Okay, let's do this one. flip it over in the back so it didn't cut well can you see that okay so I bent it up so I can see where where it needs to be cut Side of the shoe yeah, this is gonna be so good I cannot wait for you to see the whole like everything just pieced together it's like such a group effort but the collaboration I just cannot wait to showcase that so don't forget so that's Saturday January 22nd 2022 
I'll clean that up, but I'm going to show you what the shoe looks like in a second because we've just got this two little pieces left over here. So, so cool. Okay. So here's the shoe. <gasps> it looks so good, right? It's so much more vibrant. Let me show you the whites and the blacks to compare right now. And also to give you an example of like the blue cardstock that I could have used, right? So... Here's the black cardstock, and look at it, right? It's just totally different texture. Um, and the white cardstock, give me a second. So here's my white, and can you tell the difference? In person, you can. It's kind of hard to see in that glare, but it makes a huge difference. All right. Thank you for sticking around with me. We're going to be experimenting some more. So, um, yeah, let me know what, what ideas you have. And I can go through my craft room and see if I have the supplies and, you know, we can figure things out. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.